Hello everybody, welcome back to more Darkfall Journal. Don't know why I have the keyboard in my lap. Don't need it. Alrighty, I think we we managed to get a coin, a couple of coins from that ticket machine. We didn't turn around and put the coins back in to try to get a ticket yet, which we may need to do, but we got coins so far. We uh, looked through everything on this PDF, PDF, <laughs> PDA. Our brother uh, Pete went through all that, and uh, Crowhurst, Pete Crowhurst, Pete, which is uh, our brother. Okay. Don't think we can take anything else here. Can't look at the blueprint. None of that in the back. We don't need that device. Yeah, this is a redevelopment. I guess his brother wanted to. Yeah, that's his brother came here not because Nigel and Polly were here doing ghosts, but because he wants to redevelop. Or reopen the train station, rebuild the hotel, you know, get people and money back into this. That's what his interest was. So we're gonna make a save. Okay, so nothing else we can really do there. The king's lead, king's lead for power and speed. Devon, London, and Birmingham. Okay. Railway. I apologize. Some things are going to be uh, a little difficult for me to read uh, as we play in this game. Of course, I'll be able to see it in editing when I fix it and make it brighter uh, for when I uh, show it to you guys on the channel. But as I play it, uh, a lot of stuff is pretty dark. So, like, this is impossible. Like, I can't. That's more brightened out than it is dark. But I can't read this up here other than I can make out railway. Something Western rail Railway is, is about as much as I can read there. Okay, nothing else. Know what that is? Can't take it. Can't take the bottles. Can't look in the fireplace. And this thing is just busted. It's no good. We will, will eventually um, collect more items. As we go, we're also looking for spiking here. We can't go out this door, I don't believe. I can't step forward. It's barricaded anyway from the outside, so. All right. There's where we got the coins. Let's head up over here look around. I can't turn the lamp on. Well, that's unfortunate. Is there some kind of weird light switch on the wall or anything? Okay. Reading time. A new position indeed. What a cheek they have. So they think one station closes and we can all just pack up and leave. Thirty years I have been here. Some would see that as half a lifetime. What of the others, my lads, have all been sacked? What the hell are they going to do? Most of them have families. I blame those newspapers. They are monsters. The disappearances. Why can't they not just leave them in peace? 
They are not coming back, no matter what anyone says, just like that poor child. He was never found. Timothy Pike, maybe? So what hope for the others? I will take this new position, but things can never be the same again. It is the end of an era for myself and the whole of this village. We will all miss the station, and hopefully it will never be forgotten, even after it has been razed to the ground. They have sealed the building in, ugly iron, so even daytime is now as night. Time to pack my things, lock those doors, and bid farewell. Goodbye, and good luck to Dowerton. Okay. This is just blank. No drawers. Okay. These, okay, L-O-C-U, locomotive. So that is the name of the train. Gamma. Sentinel. Tick knobs. Or no. <laughs> Tick knobs. Tick number 35, T-I-C. Uh, availability. 10 year something CAM stored okay stopped okay okay Bemis shaft finale dry okay I don't know that any of that's important but there it is Great Western Railway. That's what that poster said. Okay. English Channel. Winchester. Oxford. Paddington, London, right? GWR. Royal Hotel. That's what that GW was. G GWR and the... Um, the Great Great Western Railway. That's what that was on the uh, wall in the bathroom. Birmingham. Cool. So you can look at that segment, and I think you can look up here, maybe? No. Just this segment. So we're we are in um, Dowering Dowering Dowerton. Uh, I don't know that that's visible. Stratford. I don't know that that is visible on here. Probably is, but I don't see it, and I don't know where it should be. But this is the general location or vicinity of where the game is and where it's taking place. I mean, there's all this over here, too, but we can't... Uh, can't look at that. Well, I mean, we have to be, like, literally right here. Yeah, this line. Okay. If I knew how to look at a map, I guess that would uh, help, wouldn't it? Yeah, this is the hotel, uh, the railway station here in Paddington, London. And this is where the railway can go off from. So it branches off. Obviously, different feed areas off of that point, but feeds off Westbury and then out that way. So yeah, we are literally right there. Okay. Now I feel like an idiot. All right, moving on. So I can't look at this or any of this. There's nothing else but the note to look at. Let's turn around. GWR. It is with some unhappiness that I have to inform you that this regional station will be closing on Easter Sunday. After some thought and research, uh, it was decided that the Dowring, 
Dowerton stop was not financially viable. Also, the customer satisfaction never really recovered after the events that happened in the station hotel. The unhealthy interests of the press have not helped this matter. We hope that most of you of a long-standing status will be employed at other regional stations. A. Henry. P.S. Happy Easter. You're fired. Candle. Noise. We got ourselves a lantern. A torch, if you will. I don't think British people just call flashlights torches. I think it's anything. Like, they may not call a match a torch, but like a flashlight, a lantern, they may universally call those torches. If you're British, let me know in the, uh, not, <laughs> if you're British, don't let me know in the comments just because you're British, unless you would like to. I mean, I'm fine with that. But if you're British and you would like to let me know in the comments, uh, let me know, uh, does torch just relate mainly to a flashlight or also something like a lantern? Be interested to know. Okay, we've got things we can read. Have any of you lot been approached by passengers re regarding the platform toilets? I had a very distressed lady inform me that she thinks there may be a peeping Tom sneaking into one of the cubicles. She finished her business and went to scold the rascal only to find the toilet block empty. That's where we looked through and saw that symbol. And it said, uh, whatever that said. I took a picture of my phone. Why can't I pick that up? I'm getting the hand on it. As you will all know, the head office is becoming rather tight these days regarding financial matters. I do not know why this is, so I would ask you to not spread any further rumors. There is enough gossip already, so please sign the petition to get the old electricity bunker re-roofed and congru- and, uh, incongregated iron uh, as slate tiles are leaking. Okay. The police have requested help from staff and local people to aid in the search of both tunnels. They are hoping to find some signs or clues regarding the disappearance of a local child, Timothy Pike, 11. He was 11 years old, left the village and may have wandered into the tunnel by mistake. Any help will be looked upon highly by myself, so come on, lads. Man, was he really killed by a train? Whoa. Okay. Latest invoice arrived. Candles, four pounds. What are you lot doing? Eating them? <laughs> this will have to change. I am calling a budget meeting for next Friday morning. GWR is not made of money, you know. Well... They do have light bulbs, but I guess light bulbs are at premium back in the 1940s. Waiting room chimney needs unblocking. No fires can be lit until this work is undertaken. I will ask Edith Penfold, who runs the hotel next door, if she knows anyone from the village. She's an absolute gold mine for local information. Edith Penfold. Oop, I don't think we ever meet her. Request a uh, grant from head office for repairs to the footbridge. It is long overdue for a good structural survey and could develop and could develop, we are told often, into a liability. Yes. <laughs> could somebody freaking fall off of there, man? It's super dangerous. All right, you're not going to give us like. Uh, Totally didn't see that one. Yeah, see, I can't, I can't see that there's anything in there really. I sort of can, but just barely. That's why I gotta hover over like everything. A reward of four pounds is offered for information regarding the recent vandalism of GWR property near Dowerton Station. Points 001 and points 005 were broken. Sometime during the night of the 13th. This is a very serious matter and should be dealt with as soon as possible. 
points. What does that mean? Better write that down. Points zero zero one and zero zero five. I do not know what that means. Points is capitalized. Not zero zero one through zero zero five, but zero zero one and on the thirteenth. Okay. Anything else? I guess I don't have to click. I can just hover over. See, there's something here too. Well, actually, it's this segment. It's like, I have the hand, but I can't click anything here in this quadrant. So I'm not sure why that hand is there. I can't open this one, apparently. Okay, so... Wow, I clicked. I'm clicking up here, and it's reading the note, even though I don't have a hand icon. I was trying to read this. Okay, I think we're good here. Uh, what do we got? Oh. Okay, Dowerton First Class, 37R, 037, to Paddington, First Class, available for one luncheon and restaurant car, return ticket conditions on back. So they tear your ticket off and take that. I guess they take this and you get to keep this. But then when you get done, you still have to give this back. I've actually never been on a train. I've always wanted to like go on a train. I think it would be pretty freaking sweet. Something I'd like to do like sometime in life. All right, we can't take it. We can just look at it. Okay. I'm just, I don't have to click. All I got to do is look for the hand. I think that's outside. Okay. So yeah, these kinds of games, you always want to click and try to take everything. And he may not be taking it now, but if a situation arises where you need something like this, maybe you can come back and then get it. There's nothing else I can see here to do. See, I got a magnifying glass uh, to zoom in. See, this is what's interesting to me is... Uh, You've seen, well, you may not have seen, but I do, and I uh, am starting to play more uh, hidden object, modern hidden object games, I'll call it. Point and click hidden object games. Some people call them uh, hops, hidden object uh, point, uh, or a HOPA, H-O-P-A, hidden object point, click adventure, whatever, but hidden object game. Um, this this style of game is still what I would consider it's horror, it's psychological horror, it's adventure, it's point and click. But this is not a hidden object game. This is a point and click adventure uh, game. Uh, but hidden objects, hidden object games play very similar to this. They just revolve around the hidden object scenes of, you know, being zoomed up close to something and having to find a bunch of things within a bunch of things and some story items and light puzzles and things like that. They are still adventure games in and of themselves, but uh, it's just interesting to me because um, I don't know what the first hidden object game was I've played. I couldn't tell you. Wish I could read that. Um, but... I played point-and-click games like this before I played a hidden object game. So hidden object games are now kind of what the point-and-click genre has turned into. Just find it kind of funny. 
and I know why I like hidden object games. It's because when I went to the dentist, the, the dentist I go to, I've been going to him for like 30, 35 years now. Um, when I was young, uh, he was seeing me. Um, when he would sit and wait in his office and just back in the 90s, because it was popular back in the 90s, there was a magazine called Highlights. And there was always a section in the middle that had a hidden object scene, kind of like a two-page spread. And, uh, you know, you'd have to look for items uh, within a scene. And, uh, you know, asshole kids would uh, take their crayons or pens and color in the objects, and then you would ruin it for the next, you know, the kid wouldn't have to... He would leave the magazine there, but he colored everything in. So the next kid, which would probably be you or me, would get it, and we would want to play the game in the magazine, and everything would already be colored in. But that's what I remember uh, playing Hidden Object from, and so I, I definitely uh, think that is why I like playing Hidden Object games these days. Plus, I'm older. Uh, something taking... It's like a train. Taking in something holiday, summer... Uh, on the south, south, southern railway. Okay. Okay. Kids song. I can only assume that's something that is probably British. A British thing, maybe? We would sing as uh, young lads. Okay. Not getting through there, apparently. Can we look at this? Yes, we can. Direct and picturesque route to the southwest includes eastern uh, Easter train services and changes. Train services to and from London, to Weymouth and to London. Okay, I won't read all of those words for you. Yeah, that would be freaking sweet, man. To like go to London or England, anywhere in England. Well, maybe not anywhere. I know everywhere has their bad places, places you should go and shouldn't go, but go to London and like trip around areas there, uh, you know, for a week or so with a train, you know, taking you all to different locations. That would be awesome. Like if I was like l unlimitedly wealthy, that's something that would be cool to do. For like a week or two. I can't understand what they're saying. Wish I could see what time it was up there. All right, we can go over here. Public telephones. You don't see these. I mean, they don't look like this now, but you don't see public telephones at all anymore. <laughs> they just, it's one of those things, you know, it's like the Backstreet Boys. Uh, they just disappeared one day. Everybody quit using them and talking about them, listening to them. But you don't see public phones, you know. I'm in America. Maybe in London you do, but not anymore over here in America. Especially not like these. Okay, you'll see this symbol a lot uh, in actually point-and-click games. It looks like a little, uh, I've always seen it as like a wrench symbol. Uh when you can put coins or something in slots. A lot of games will use this symbol. Let's just pick it up. Hello? Okay. So, I can't read the writing. I think this is where we need to use the coins. I believe. I should make a save. That would be smart. Let's go ahead and use them. Try to use them. Can I use them? I'm clicking. Maybe I have to drag. Hmm. 
So how do I use the coins? Maybe because I don't need to yet. I don't know. I think I do need to use them. Let's try to put them uh, back in this. I can't. I can't interact. I can't interact with the slot. I'm pretty sure you can use this phone. I can't use this phone. It has to be this one. I don't know if somebody calls us or if we need to call them. Maybe we need to pick this up first. Okay, now the coin went in when I clicked it. What? Okay, so that was Mr. N Mr. Mr. Nigel Danvers, who's going to be a, a popular fellow throughout the Dark Fall series, and uh, another game we'll be playing later on. I do believe uh, Jonathan Bokes himself, the creator of Dark Fall, uh, and the other game I'm talking about, uh, I believe he voiced uh, Nigel Danvers here because he plays him uh, later. I'll just say, uh, I won't say the game, but we will be playing uh, Nigel Danvers in another game in the future. And uh, it is a game made by Jonathan Bokes as well, obviously. So that was Jonathan Bokes or Nigel Danvers talking to us. And he used the same term, it it's here. Um, it probably knows I'm talking to you. I need to find a key and it's in a silver teapot. So, yeah. All right, we still have the coins. So you gotta pick the earpiece up first, then when you click the coin, uh, it went in automatically. Do it again. So we'll see what happens. Same thing, I bet. Just testing it. Yeah. Okay, so we we're able to somehow get our money back, <laughs> so we didn't lose anything. Let's go ahead and save. Sorry I have to bring up the stupid uh, large ass window screen every time I save, but that's how the game wants you to save. Okay. So we can't go this way. We've been there. That's the entrance. We've been to this side room in here. It's the only way to go up is up. There's nothing else we can do with this thing. This is where we originally got the coins. Let's head on up. That was loud. Ah, uh, we're getting some activity here. Electromagnetic magnetic source within two meters. So can we leave this up? Okay. I'm gonna leave it up while it's like actually uh, picking up something. 
Then it goes forward. Oh, this way. I almost uh, hid, covered up a note here. Good one. You found you found me note. You have no idea how much effort it took uh, me to make it happen. The funny thing is, my writing is a lot better now, or a lot better than when I was at school. Anyway, like I said before, I can still help you, but we will have to work together. If you get stuck, maybe I know something or can ask one of the others. To do so, I need to see what's in your mind. So go to the place where you are stuck and concentrate if you find find hard and if you he says think like think if you think hard enough then I might be able to see it if so come straight back here and I might have some help for you if you don't come straight back here I'll lose contact with you but maybe you can sort this all out yourself good luck Tim Tim Pike okay so go to where you're stuck concentrate really hard Maybe he can see something and then he'll leave you the answer or help here on the note that we're just going to throw back on the ground. Okay. I'm going to leave this up because we got some action going. Okay. All right, guys, we'll stop this video here. Um, see, that was from the little kid, that 11 year old. Got lost in the train track tunnels, the train tunnels. We'll stop this video here. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you in the next part. Bye.